You know what? I know exactly what 2K needs. Yeah, I think Ronnie going to like this one. He got to, man. It's no way. Matter of fact, you know what? Man, they ain't never going to bring jetpacks back anyway. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, iPod King Carter here. I got my notebook here with me, man. It's a lot of things inside this notebook. It's trade secrets in this notebook right now, man. NBA 2K19 is the next game inside the series of NBA 2K. And I feel like they need to come with a banger if they want this game to succeed, man. If they want this game to be playable for 12 months straight, they got to start with this wish list right here. So I'm going to be talking about a lot of different things in today's video. But what I need from you guys to get active in the comments, I need you guys to list the top five things you would like to see in NBA 2K19. It could be cosmetic. It could be gameplay. It could be new features. It could be whatever you like. Just go ahead and list it in the comment section below. Also, there's no restriction on whatever mode you want to talk about. I'm going to go ahead and get this off the list real quick. My team. I know that you guys are hurting. I know you guys want more content. I know you guys want a better, fair chance of getting cards if you're going to be putting out the certain type of money that you're putting out. I'm sorry for you. I feel you. I mean, microtransactions are real. But hey, 2K, can we, can we please show a little bit of love to the My Team guys? I remember when my team was looking like it was going to be the top thing on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, whatever, wherever you streamed at, wherever you uploaded videos at, that felt like that was going to be the content and where it was going to take off for 2K. But for 2K18, I'm not feeling that same hype, man. I mean, some people would say even ever since Pink Diamonds disappeared, it really ain't been too lit. But that's here nor there. So let's talk about my favorite mode, my career. <laughs> creating your player since this is the first task that you have to do when starting my career why is it that whenever you mess with your wingspan your weight your speed whatever it may be why is there an arrow that goes up and goes down goes up and goes down why not show us a graph of our attributes why not show us numbers on a scale from 0 to 99 or 100, whatever the case may be, on what will be affected if we change certain things about our player? I'm sick and tired of saying shot mid contest go up and go down. I need to know a number. I need to know maybe an 83 shot contest. I need to know 79 shot contest. I need to know numbers. I'm sick and tired of looking at these arrows, man. I don't know how many people feel like that, but I feel like that. Now the next thing, you already know we're gonna talk about it, man. The cutscenes, 2K. Can we get a skip button, please? That's all I ask for, man. Just a little X button or an options button to go ahead and skip a couple cutscenes. I mean, now granted, this year we had a lot to deal with. We had to deal with Be Fresh. We had to deal with Shammy. We had to deal with Bo. We had to deal with the little dude that, that mopped the floor. I mean, look, we had a lot to endure this year. And that's because we created multiple players, which means we had to go through multiple cutscenes, which means we couldn't skip multiple cutscenes. Please, 2K, can we get a skip button? All right, let's talk about the elephant in the room, man. Let's talk about these attributes and these badges, man. Because it's the easiest thing to get right, but yet 2K keeps getting it wrong every single year. Now, as far as attributes go, if you're building up your player in my career, pro-am, part, whatever the case may be, you should let us know beforehand what attributes are going to unlock instead of unlocking random stuff. Why don't we have the choice anymore on what we want to unlock? Because it's our player, not yours. 2K, you're taking out a lot of different things and putting in new implemented things to this game. And it's like flipping a coin. And I, as a consumer, do not like that. Because when I'm playing my career, I want everything to be my choice. It's just like when you're playing in my career and you get a bump still because the double team happened and you can't control your player because your player do his own animation instead of the animation you want him to do. We're going to talk about that later, though. But 2K, can you please give me the choice on what attributes unlock for myself? Now, let's talk about these badges. Another elephant in the room. What happened to the grand badge? What happened to park badges? A lot has changed from last year to this year. And what I would like to say is, if you guys are going to implement park badges once again, why not give us guide badges? I, I don't think y'all understood what I said. God badges. 
Think about it. Since we're the community, right, 2K? Why can't you guys give us something that we want? What does everybody at the park want to be? A dribble guy, a sharp guy, a slash guy, a point forward guy, whatever the case may be. People like being called something and then God after. So why not give us God badges at the park? Just like people wear dribble gods and stuff like that. Why can't those people just get like bone collector or something like that as a badge, but just call it dribble God? Why not have people that get a high amount of posterizers get slash God? And then when they're at the park, any animation that they get is during their poster. I mean, 360 no look dabbing is like a poster dunk. So I'm just saying, man, it would be nice to give the community something that we basically made up ourselves. I mean, we kind of make these things up as we go along. You should be making the game bigger by giving us what we want because essentially you'll sell more copies, you'll get more microtransactions. Now let's talk about endorsements for a moment. I mean, I feel like endorsements are a thing of the past. Nobody really cares about endorsements anymore. I remember when I first started my channel on 2K11 and I got a shoe endorsement. That was a big freaking deal, man. A big freaking deal. Nowadays it's like, oh, you got signed to Nike? Cool story, bro. Why can't people wear whatever they want at the park? Why is people obligated to wear a certain type of shoe to play street basketball. 2K, what, what is we doing? I mean, endorsement should be something that we unlock, we get a cool billboard, maybe get a commercial for, and actually get some type of real achievement for it. But I feel like I got my signature shoe deal before halfway into the season. I was wearing gold studded shoes quick fast. Not after the first season, not after the playoffs, not right before the playoffs, but I got this like mid season, man. I feel like endorsements are just thrown at us way too fast because you guys not want to promote the brands, but the brands have to have some type of segue in your story. So when I see Be Fresh eating Reese's Puffs, but I'm not eating Reese's Puffs, it kind of doesn't make sense why Reese's Puffs wants to sign me. I'm going to move on from my career. The last thing that I'm going to say about my career is What's up with the double team 2K? This has been year after year of you guys getting the double team completely wrong. I've been getting double team so much that they double team me before the tip off. I swear to God, I was in a shoot around. You know the little shoot around joints, like 40 seconds of you shooting the ball. Two people from the other end of the court came down and double team me. I'm not lying. I can't make this up. Okay, right before the tip-off. You know, you start shaking everybody's hands and stuff like that. Little animations right before a tip-off. Why is it two people standing next to me double-teaming me? Third possession of the game. I got one assist. Why am I getting double-teamed? Let's dive into the park for a little bit, man. Can we, can we deep dive into the park real quick? Now, I know that I talked about the park badges and things of that nature, but when are we going to be done with Got Next? When are we going to have matchmaking? You have Team Pro-Am, you have Walk-On Pro-Am. Why can't there be like a Walk-On Park, like how the Got Next is, and a Team Park for competitive players, team players, and people that want to squad up and not deal with waiting 40 minutes through a game. Now, funny thing is, I was playing with Agent Double Zero and I'm Davis the other day. And literally, we're waiting to try to get a video done with each other. We had to take the squad spot and we had to take the dots, right? So, we let the people with the squad spot go on. They beat that team, right? But no, it's not done. Agent and somebody else get kicked from the game while the game is going on. So we're on the dots. 20 minutes has already went past, and we like, so what happened? Oh, we got kicked. So now we got to start all over. They got to come back, beat the same team over again, or we have to beat that team. Then they have to get on the spot just for us to make a video together. Why can't we have private sessions? Why can't we have lobbies? Why can't we have teams? This don't make no sense. I'm going to dive into Pro-Am in a little bit. But when it comes to park, right, and people have squads and people have cliques and stuff like that, why can't people rep their cliques? Why can't people rep their clans and such such like that, right? So think, for instance, right, I would probably have a Baldy clan. I don't know why. I'm bald. It's cool. But 
if I wanted to have a Baldy clan and all my Baldy homies get together, you know what I'm saying, like me, QJB, K Spade, just just to name a few. But what if we all got together? We said we the Baldy squad, and we come in and we got like these big ball heads on our T-shirts. We got like big shiny ball heads and all that. You know what I'm saying? People with ball head signs in the stands and stuff like that at the park. Why can't we have that? Why can't we have lobbies and matchmaking and stuff like that? Because the craziest thing about it is, not only is it bad that we can't really squad up and talk to everybody on the court, it's the latency as well. I mean, there's many different problems with the latency. I'm not even going to talk about that too much. It's just the simple fact that if a person makes a jump shot, right, and they splash all the time in their My Career videos, but when they come to the park, they can't hit to save their life. There's an issue somewhere. When you come to a park, right, you might play one or two games. But once people come that's on your friend list, they start flooding your park and stuff like that, what happens? You start lagging. What happens when you lag? Your jump shot is completely off. Sometimes the servers for 2K are all the way up. Sometimes the servers disappear, bro. So all I'm saying is 2K, when it comes to a park atmosphere, where you have all these different players and everything like that. That's cute. That's cool. But please give us some private games, some lobbies. You know what? <laughs> I don't even want to say it, but I got to say it. Why don't you bring back Blacktop online? I'm just saying, it's something that used to be in the game. Yeah, used to be. Can you, can you please bring it back? We, we would love it if you do. It's really cool if you would. To piggyback off the latency issue, when you go into a game and you like, okay, well, this game is dope, but I haven't been getting that many crossovers this game. You might be on like a 5 to 20 game win streak, and you say to yourself, you know what? Crossover 6 ain't working today. Let me switch it up. Well, guess what? You can't switch it up unless you get off that spot, fam. Yo, remember when you was able to like change anything you wanted to on the fly, like in between games and stuff like that? Remember that? A 2K. Can you bring that back? We ain't even gonna talk about the bump still because I feel like the bump still is never gonna be gone. I mean, I don't think it will ever leave. I've been talking about the bump still for years. I just don't think it will ever leave. That's just that's just how I feel. that's just how I feel. So the last thing I want to talk about in episode one is pro am. Now I don't want to deep dive too much in a Pro-Am just because the simple fact is I never created a team on Pro-Am. So when it comes to team Pro-Am, I really don't know all the problems. I know that early on in 2K when they were going through their patch wars, they were patching the game like every other week. It was a point where people for team Pro-Am couldn't even get into a game with their full team. So that was one thing that I did notice. But also I feel like there's no reward for playing team Pro-Am. Besides, you play this amount of games, you're good, you might rank, and that's really about it. Tournaments and everything like that, cash prizes, y'all should bring in new people to do that. You know what I'm saying? Why not have new, you know, vendors and stuff like that come in with your game, you know, cross-promote, and build like that? That'd be dope. Now, let's talk about walk-on for a moment. I mean, walk-on is cool and everything, but I don't want to go into walk-on testing my jump shot. And testing my dribbles and my moves and stuff like that. Not on my camera angle that I play on. I want to be practicing on the camera angle I play on. As well, I want to not even do that if it's going to be a problem. Just take that out. I don't want to sit in the lobby waiting on people. Looking at one person come in. Everybody turn their head like, yo, what up? And then he leave. I don't, I don't want that problem. If you're going to put me in a lobby, just just let me scroll load until you get everybody in the game, just like you did the draft combine. It literally, I used to wait there a couple minutes for the draft combine. I'm just sitting there waiting, waiting for a point guard, waiting for a shooting guard. I mean, you have so many things in your game that's not in the online-esque of my career. It just kind of doesn't make any sense to me. Like, think about it, right? All-Star Team Up has lobbies and stuff like that. Why don't Pro-Am got lobbies? Like, why can't... There has never been a time where it say, yo, I want to play y'all. Okay. Run it up. Why? Why is that not a thing? Every game in this world really got private lobbies. You come in, you get your squad together, everybody ready, ready up, and we good to go. I don't know why 2K is so behind on the curve. I don't... I don't... I don't know why. When is... Pro-Am or whatever the case may be, gonna get new colors. 
I'm tired of seeing black and gold. Why can't we have white jerseys, red jerseys, blue jerseys, green jerseys? Why can't we have that? Why do walk-on have to be only accepted by black and gold or yellow, whatever, whatever color you think it is? I know it's a couple colorblind people out here in this world, but why? I mean, I know it's cool to get a team pro-am. You play your team games, you rep your team up, and then you get to create your jerseys. That's cool. That's fire. But I feel like if a person can go to the park, and, and playing a brown shirt to go into the park playing in Gucci, Louis, created stuff and all that. Why can't we create stuff for walk on? Why can't we choose if we're home, right? Why can't we choose a white jersey with red lining or a white jersey with green lining? Something like that. Why do we always have to pick black or yellow? I want to remind you to please. Please add the top five things that you would like to see in NBA 2K19. This is episode one. Episode two will be out soon, man. I know this video was kind of lengthy. I hope you stay here for the whole video. But like I said, man, make sure you guys leave a comment below. Make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoy this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes. And this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.